What is up, everyone? Welcome back for more. Let's play Undertale. All right, we're gonna continue exploring the ruins where we last left off from this mouse hole. Hello. Hey, uh, buddy, why are you laying down here in the middle of the leaves? I thought we were supposed to stay out the leaves, buddy. God, yeah. This ghost keeps saying. Okay, I'm sorry about the fake story, but that. How else do you expect. How else do you. How else would you interpret Z's to sound like? Uh, repeatedly pertaining to sleep. Yes, we don't move it with horse! Here comes Napster Blue! We'll check it. He, he, it. <clears throat> Attack 10, defense is 10. The monster doesn't even seem to have a sense of humor. No, I'm real funny. And he's crying his acid tears on us. Which aren't really all that difficult to dodge. Let's, um, cure mine. An absolute look, a patient smile. Uh, I'm really not feeling up right now. Sorry. Which is uh, I'm not sure if it's intentional, but this seems like it's a, like it's a nice nod to Earthbound. There's quite a bit of nods to Earthbound within Undertale, as well. Toby Fox is a huge fan of it. I mean, he is the one who made the um, Halloween hack of Earthbound. But this is kind of like a recreation of enemies racing their turns by knitting their, knitting their brow or something. Well, that's a little joke. <laughs> and he's still trying to stay in attack. Hopefully we'll get to see you here soon, but Master Luke wants to show you something. Let me try. Call it. Pepper Fluke. You like it? Yeah, he has an attack where um, he cries wavy tears. It goes from goes from the top of the screen to the bottom of the screen. Separates from uh, splits from left to right. Goes up and then back down. It's a tricky attack to avoid. But kind of surprised he didn't use it. Flare then. Oh no. He used it for a split second there. He usually come to the rooms because there's nobody around. But today, I met someone nice. Oh, I'm rambling again. I'll get out of your way. <clears throat> That's cool. Now, where we're supposed to go is up to the um, north. But... I went ahead due east because we got this. Spider Bake Sale. All proceeds go to real spiders. You have our choice of the spider donut or the spider cider. I only have 15 gold so I can't afford the spider cider so the only thing I can get right here is a spider donut. This is very important to get. Not only is it good to have a good recovery item, but this is also very important for something later on. I won't be I won't get into what right now, but we'll get into it at, when it becomes relevant. So right here we have Did you miss it? Spider Big Cell down and to the right. Can eat food made by spiders or spiders of spiders. Um, do I even want to munch on some of that stuff now? You're doing the sell for spiders, but you're making your products of spiders. And yes, if you check the um, item description of the spider cider, it 
has actual spiders in it. That's kind of morbid if you think about it. Morbid, morbid. Ah, <sighs> my friend never listens to me. Whenever I talk, I skip the remorse by pressing B. That's right, pressing B. Well, at least you listen to me. Yeah, that text will change if you actually skip the text. You're like, oh my god, you never listen to me either. Right, right. I heard using borders can add some color to the world. It seems you can choose them in the settings when you before you load the game. However, there isn't a product being border, so it's just pointless, right? I kind of actually disagree with that. It actually fills that ugly black void around it. And actually fills in the screen with something really nice to look at. Oh, someone disagrees with my opinion and attacked me. This is lost. <laughs> First time I had an encounter here, all places. Let's check it. Attack and defense is six. Don't pick on him. Family name: I Walker. Please don't pick on me. Well, since you're going easy on your attack, looks like I drops. Let's not pick on him. Finally, someone gets it. Is it just me, or does this? Enemy resemble Mike Wazowski from Monsters Incorporated. And he has a blank expression on his face given his comparison. Great, ready? I have heard you are quite merciful for a human. Surely you know by now that when a monster wears a yellow name you can spare it? What do you think of that? I already know this, but it's very helpful. It is rather helpful. Remember, sparing is just saying you won't fight. Maybe one day, you have to do it, even if the name isn't yellow. This kind of seems like a bit of a typo. You have to do it, even if their name isn't yellow. What he's basically saying there is, there are times where monsters' names won't become yellow, and... You won't be able to spare such an enemy, thus fighting is your only option. Yeah, baby. Hello? I just realized it's been a while since I cleaned up. I was not expecting to have company so soon. There are probably a lot of things lying around here and there. You can pick them up, but do not carry more than you need. Someday, you might see something you really like. You don't want to leave room in your pockets for that. But the end. What he's basically saying there, when you get items, you can only hold up to ten, eight items at a time. So, inventory space is very, very precious and very scarce in this game. But for now, I want to head down here. Because of this guy! Meet the Vectroid! Attack and defense is six. Serving size, one monster. Not monitored by the USCA. <laughs> I love that. I didn't get a chance to read what he said there. Let's do dinner. You pat your stomach. Metroid offers a healthy meal. Eat your greens. So right here, we get to see something different. A green quote-unquote attack. This gives it into something a lot different as well. And another thing that separates it, separates this from your good looking RBG. I've already mentioned the um, attack phase, but if you notice one of the things are green, if it's green, it will heal you. Different colors of stuff that pops up on the screen will do different things. We'll be getting into more of that as we see different colors of text, but here we have a um, Nick Gosp. If I'm saying that right, flirt with them. He the storm. Here we have a. I that the bugs I believe are his own attacks. But once he's alone, 
he just dances. Which essentially does nothing. And once he's alone, you can spare him too. But where we actually need to go is down here. Is where I need to go to regress. As there's a switch for me to flip to open the way forward. But I'm gonna head down here actually. As there's another Vectroid. If you're very good at dodging his attacks, or if you actually devour him, that is essentially defeating him. Oops, I did not mean to check him again. What, am, what, was that? what am I doing? Yeah, he can actually heal off of this guy. And again? Ay, 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 ay. That was one step! Again, but about looks. Ay, go down the center one. We can talk to Napsabluk again. I fell down a hole. Ah, oh, can't get up. What about me? Hey, girls can fly, can't they? Oh well. You place your down just place yourself down there for whatever reason and saying you can't get up, realizing ghosts can fly. <laughs> That's the book is one of those weird characters, but he's awesome. On a faded ribbon! Here we get a piece of armor. Defense 3. If you're cuter, monsters will hit you as hard. That is true to an extent. I'm gonna go ahead and use that. Once you put on the ribbon, it'll replace the bandage. And it heals 10 HP, so it's been used several times. Yeah, the bandage become not so much a armor piece, but a healing item. Which is really, really nice. Now that monster battle is out of the way. Proceed in the next room, and we got various different colored switches. The far door is not an exit. It simply marks a rotation in perspective. And it's actually pretty deep. Kind of like one of those... Men. Nah, it's not even comparable to the MCH or painting. So we got three switches. One blue, one green, and one red. None of, the, none of these do a thing. But these switches do kind of have a purpose right here. Now we're going to read the sign. If you can read this, press the blue switch. There is no blue switch. Contains vitamin A. Just be yourself. What good advice. As an arrest, I haven't seen hit this wrong switch. You can't sit down and to the previous room. Yeah, no matter what room you fall down in, it always leads to that one, one little room over there, which doesn't make a lot of sense in its layout. this red switch over here. None of the switches work, you lie to me! Until you notice there was a blue switch behind the top pillar. Here's a switch right here. Yeah, if you hit both switches and you fall down there twice, that will point you to the direction. If you can read this, press the red, red switch. So we'll go ahead and do just that. I do believe you do need to keep going through this area again and again and again if you want the true genocide route. And by that I mean reaching maximum level. But right here, if you can read this, press the green switch, which is actually behind this pillar right here. Every switch is behind a pillar, so it's kind of an that's kind of annoying, but if you cut onto the perspective trick before. Yeah. So we're done with that. We, for the most part, made it through the ruins. But we're gonna keep going east and talk to this guy. Rabbit, rabbit. Just between you and me. I saw Toriel. He out, come out of here. It's a little while ago. 
I was carrying some groceries. I didn't ask what they were for. We're all too intimidated to talk to her. Right. Well, given the confrontation that you and I had before, or one of your elk and I had before, I understand why. Anyway, you want to come up here? This is especially good if you're running the genocide route. You found the toy knife. This is an additional weapon, obviously. Toy knife, weapon attack three, metaplastic, a rarity nowadays. No one ever plays with toy knives, and no siree, Bob. Anyway, go, go and head north where we're supposed to go and we find a dead tree. Oh dear, that took longer than I thought it would. You can't hear my child. Are you hurt? There, there. I will heal you. I should not have left you alone for so long. It was irresponsible of me to try to surprise you like this. There. Well, I suppose I can't hide it any longer. Come, small one. Sure. I'll go ahead and follow you. <laughs> Seeing such a cute, tidy house in the ruins gives you determination. Welcome home. Yeah, real creative, isn't it? With an unreadable sign up there. Do you smell that? Surprise! It's a uh, butterscotch cinnamon pie. I thought we might celebrate your arrival. Way to have a nice time living here. So, I'll hold off on a snail pie for tonight. Yeti! Here, I have another surprise for you. Oh, goody, let's see it. This is it. Yeah, it was really necessary to hold my hand for five steps. A room of your own. I hope you like it. Is something burning? Uh, make yourself a home. We will. Let's go ahead and check out our new place here. It's you! A nice little mirror in the hallway. Check this door. Room under renovations. Now this is kind of odd, isn't it? How there's... Basically two rooms here. It's like three rooms. One is under renovations. If we go through this room, we have an encyclopedia on subterranean plants. You open to the middle. Typha. A group of wetland flowering plants with brown oblong seed pods. Seed is misspelled. No, wait, no, it isn't. Never mind. I don't know what I'm talking about. Known more commonly as water sausages. Kind of an ironic name because sausages is, um... <clears throat> a, um, meat product, whereas... Yeah. A sausage isn't meat. I say, a sausage isn't a plant, so it's kind of hard to get a plant a um, name like that. Big inside. Scandalous. Historial sector. Really? I thought of ours are unmentionables. <laughs> but if we check this book right here. Historial's diary. Read the circled passage. You read you read the passage. Why is the skeleton not wind a friend? Because she, she was feeling bonely. <laughs> The rest is... The rest of the page is filled with jokes of a similar caliber. Toriel, I like you already. You love bad puns like I do. <laughs> but this right here, this is our room. Check it out. Look at all these cool toys that don't interest you at all. Which... I gotta get into this. A lot a lot of SJWs go all... All the... The, the, the toys are sexist because marketing uh, the, the boy of the box is for chemistry sites and, and makeup kits are the girl of the box that's called market research kids will gravitate to whatever the hell interests them B 
be it whether they are a boy or a girl. Most boys will go for the chemistry sets, whereas most girls will go for the makeup kits and the perfume. It depends on whatever the hell their interest is. But that's, that being said, I do eventually plan to make a video on that in the near future. And be photo frame, it's really dusty. There's probably no photo inside either. A box of keys in a disparity of sizes. Kind of understandable as if you're in the lookout here. And oops, thank you for living with me. You really wouldn't know the person's shoe size. Right, we can shut down the light here. I try to do so before going to bed. And we get this! A slice of butter, butterscotch cinnamon pie. This is the only one of the kind. Butterscotch pie. This will fully restore your HP. Butterscotch cinnamon pie. One slice. This is the only one of its kind in the game. I am going to be hanging on to this. It is very important to do so for later on. But, since we've done that, I say we're going to end things off here. Next time on Let's Play Undertale, we're going to be going up to Turiel now that we rested and got our first piece, our only piece of Earth Cinnamon Pie. See you guys then.